All right, so what do you guys have going on in your life where you feel like, hey, the Burt Show can help you out? Our Burt Show fam can play therapist to you guys. Hit us up at com. And in this case right here, his girlfriend has a zero ambition, and it is really starting to hurt his mental health. So what should he do about it? one uh, 855 Burt Show. Hey, Burt Show, my girlfriend and I are both 29. She's got no ambition. Starting to hurt me mentally. She is a great and supportive person, but when it comes to conversation, lately I've noticed that she's essentially all talk when it comes to what she wants to do with her life. It's the same answer all the time when it comes to her future. Oh, no, but I know I want you. It's nice to hear, but it's worrying. For the longest, she's been telling me she's been going to um, gonna go to school and run her own business, but she hasn't done anything to get her to that point. I've just tried sitting her down and uh, her I've tried just sitting down with her to hopefully see if she'll fill out government aid forms. But she keeps giving excuses. One day I told her, honestly, if you want to be a stay at home mom, just tell me so I can change career paths to support that lifestyle. She refused and stated that she will go to school and that I shouldn't be so concerned about education and finances in a relationship. <laughs> Now, this was four years ago, and I honestly do not know if she's serious anymore. The thing is, I have informed her that I can also help pay so she can go to school, but she's worried about owing me. I was willing to get a piece of paper stating that she won't owe me anything at all, but that wasn't enough. She wants to be independent, which is great, but it seems unrealistic. (laughs) She wants to work until she can fully pay off the tuition, which is, again, fine. The problem is she's 29, and she's working in a $12 an hour job. Mm. School she wants to go to is $50,000 per semester, and she hasn't filled out any government aid. I don't know what to do, but it hurts because I love her so much. But I just don't understand this. She wants to start having kids around 30, and she thinks that if we pray and believe in God— We can do it, dot, 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 and I'm losing it. I know for a fact that we can't afford that comfortably. How would you handle it? 1-855-BERTSHOW. God can do a lot of things. I don't know if he can handle this situation. $12 an hour and $50,000 a year. That's $200,000 for four years. Is there not another school? Is there not another school you could choose if you really wanted to make this happen? And the fact that she's not filling out any government aid, like, I don't, I would try to get down to the nitty gritty of why she's dragging her feet on this stuff. Mm-hmm. Huh. Like there's, a, to, I'm always curious about the why. And I'm like, all right, she says she's going to do this. She says she's going to do this. Now here we are four years later and that needle hasn't moved. So it's like, what's going on deep within that she is, whether you want to, to say like procrastinating, whatever. There, there's a reason that she's holding, she's literally holding herself back. There are a couple of things that don't make sense to me here. Um, the first and foremost is she says that she really loves to be independent, uh, <laughs> yet she has been taken care of for the last four years. So are you really wanting to be independent or do you like seeing yourself as independent because you are anything but independent mm-hmm. right now. Those are two very different right. things. Right. You're totally dependent, actually. We love to think we are a certain way. Yeah. Sometimes we need the people around us to shake us up and be like, um, FYI, you're nothing like that. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, I don't know why you guys are worried. I did the math, and $200,000 for four years, $12 an hour. She only has to work 16,666 <laughs> hours. Oh, God. Surely that can be done. I'm, I'm yeah. sure. If I had to take a wild guess as to what the real reason is, I think she actually probably wants to be a stay-at-home mom but is afraid to actually mm-hmm. speak up and say that that's what she wants right. because maybe she's been raised to think that she has to be independent to be a certain type of woman, but maybe... Like, what she really wants is just to be a mother, and she doesn't really know how to express that. Well, then she just needs to be honest with him, because it sounds like, at least in his email, he's doing the right things. He's asking her what she needs. He's offering support. But she is portraying this person right now, but she's not acting the way that she's portraying herself. When do women ever really speak up and ask for what they want? You're very complicated. (laughs) Very complicated. So I had a friend who was like this, and um, when we got to the root of it, 
excuse me, he uh, was depressed and didn't realize it because he wasn't exhibiting actual, like he wasn't moping about all day. He didn't seem depressed. And he had very severe ADHD, which was stopping him from going and doing, getting things done with that executive dysfunction. So it might also be, she might just, one, not actually be excited about, about school, but feel like she has to do it because that's what you're supposed to do. But she may actually just be depressed or have ADHD or have something that's stopping her from taking those first steps, even though she wants to. Or she might be really lazy. That's what I think is happening. <laughs> She's lazy. And I think she may not want to admit that. And there's a Bible quote that says, faith without works is dead, which basically means you can have all the faith in the world. If you ain't willing to do the work, yep. it's dead. Uh-huh. So until she really starts putting in the work, I think he needs to accept that this is who she is. And if you can love her like that, then do. But if you can't, now you know who you're dealing with. The Burt Show. So first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get The Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.